This is the Weather Extreme video for Wednesday morning, the 26th of September. I'm James Spann. Weekend forecast still kind of tricky. Uh, we'll get in there and talk about it. Let's start with some of the sky cam shots around the network early this morning. Yeah, you know what time these were captured. The insane hour of 5 a.m. That's the Inverness sky cam. Only about a dozen cars out there. Wouldn't it be nice? Stayed that way all day. That's our sky cam on the campus of the University of Montevallo in Shelby County and up in Winston County. You look at downtown Haleyville. All right, uh, I got a band of convection uh, early this morning along a front that's running on the southern edge of the westerlies, but down here we have a flat ridge, and that should mean uh, pretty much uh, warm and dry weather for the rest of the week. That surface boundary is located from near Chicago down to about uh, Omaha. Hey, it's cool behind that thing. It's, temperatures are below freezing up there over parts of um, northern Minnesota, uh, South Dakota, northern Wisconsin. I mean, it's cold. But we won't feel that uh, in the near term. Had some active weather on that front yesterday. Look at those severe weather reports. Seven tornado reports out of that uh, cell that passed through uh, southern Illinois. Severe weather down into parts of uh, western Oklahoma as well. And out in that region, a chance of severe weather today from near Amarillo, Texas to Springfield, Missouri. And within that, that would include Wichita and Oklahoma City. Of course, we're dry as a bone here. Rain for the next five days, not showing a lot. This is valid through the weekend, through Sunday evening at 7 o'clock. And if this is right, we'd only get a tenth to a quarter inch. And again, there's a lot of uncertainty in the specifics over the weekend forecast, as you'll see, but we'll talk about it. We're getting a little better clarity. Tropics, there's Nadine. It's been there for a long time, probably stay there for a long time. It's in the middle of nowhere and stays in the middle of nowhere out there in the eastern Atlantic, just looping around. Our system in the Pacific, Miriam, is fading fast. It's being eaten up with cooler water, drier air, wind shear, you name it, and it's going to fizzle out now before reaching Baja, California. And the idea of moisture getting up into the United States now looks slim with that. And boy, this thing is wicked looking. That's our system out there in the western Pacific, Jelawat. That thing is still at, uh, it's a super typhoon, or it's what would be a Category 5 here with winds of, Sustained winds of 160 miles an hour gust to 190, but it's peaking now. It should slowly weaken on that journey, and thank goodness it keeps it away from most land areas, uh, just passing east of the uh, Philippines and Taipei in coming days. All right, model fans, this is the GFS, the OZ run at 1 o'clock today at 500 millibars. And you can see we've got ridging here, weak southwest flow aloft, and uh, the day should be dry and warm with highs up in the uh, low to mid-80s today. Same thing tomorrow. Now, the GFS goes nuts and gets us up there in the upper 80s. Uh, the, the moss has been way too warm for months. Uh, Mid-80s is more correct with those thickness numbers. And Friday, again, you know, we'll probably go back and mention a slight chance of a shower. We've got that cold front north of here, moisture increasing. But I really think most of the day, Friday should be dry with only a slight chance of a shower late in the day or Friday evening. Most high school stadiums, should not have rain. All right, weekend weather. This is Saturday. Here's the GFS solution. It's got a trough passing through. Down below that, a pretty good chance of showers. But again, the rain is not really heavy on this thing. There could be some thunder with the upper trough and a cold front coming in. And then by midday Sunday, the drier air takes over for the northern two-thirds of the state. And showers on Sunday will be confined to the Gulf Coast region. And Monday of next week looks beautiful, sunny, pleasant, Highs, probably upper 70s and lows, upper 40s. Just gorgeous weather. All right, but the European is different. Let's take a look. Uh, this is uh, Saturday at midday. And th if this is right, Saturday would be relatively dry. You've got that feature over Texas and a cold front north of us. That rain would probably ease in here Saturday night. And then this is midday Sunday. Uh, it's got drier air beginning to work in from the north. But really, if the European is right, the better chance of rain over the weekend would be Saturday night in Sunday morning with the rain ending by midday Sunday. And then on Monday, we are in dry air. It continues to rain over the southeast part of Alabama from Montgomery on south. So at least we're getting some better clarity from Monday and that now both models are showing dry conditions for the northern half of the state. But the timing of the showers over the weekend is still iffy. But I still think uh, we'll need to mention a chance of showers Saturday, Saturday night, maybe in the Sunday morning. 
Uh, will it rain continuously? No. Will it rain really heavy? No, but it could rain at times. So uh, that would mean a chance of rain for the football game in Tuscaloosa Saturday night. Go to Tuesday, beautiful weather, sunny and pleasant. And there's Wednesday a week from today. A little evidence of moisture coming back. We'll see how that works out, but the northern counties would stay dry. The end of the forecast, October 11th. We've seen all kind of looks out here. Every run looks different. No consistency. That shows a moderate westerly flow aloft and just kind of showery if that happens to be correct. All right, that's it for the uh, Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News and the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.